Let's take a closer look at some technical details ahead of the first F1 race in 2023. For those more than 50% that are new to my channel, I work for McLaren, Force India and Racing Point in the aerodynamic departments and today I'm a self-employed motorsport consultant so if you need help with your project, feel free to contact me. Let's start with Red Bull. We could get a good look of their car without cover. Here we note the higher sitting radiators to make space for the deeper undercut underneath the side pods this year. This allows them to get more clean air to the back and to produce more downforce. Interesting is also the fan underneath the nose to cool components. A second shot shows us details of the snowplow area. It's a large ski with massive hinges and a damper, which is currently not in the picture. Right now the ski is held by cable tie. Also note how many cables and pipes are packaged in this cool and low sitting area. At Ferrari we could see the engine from behind. Teams are usually doing this to hide the front side of the engine. And here we can see how slim the plenum is, how the lower wishbone with integrated drive shaft twists towards the center and how little auxiliary ducts are running down to the bell housing area. Ferrari has no stickers on the underside of the wing to avoid any disturbance. We can also see how they guide the flow to both sides of the brake caliper and we get a good look at their snowplow area. Also they have a large ski with massive hinges and a damper to limit the stress when hitting the ground. And Mercedes brought a new wing to the track. These rear wings are designed in sections and we can see nicely how they used one section in the center, the same one here and another one here. When designing such surfaces you want as little control as possible for a smooth surface, but you still want to control certain areas, so it's a trade-off. If you want to know more about aero design in Formula 1, check out my online course in the description. The center section is still very deep, but Mercedes increased the leading edge height, which reduces the angle of attack. Also the flap looks rather flat. This wing should help them to reach higher top speeds on the straights. The deep center section creates downforce and the back of tips reduce the losses at the side, so you can improve efficiency with such a design. If you want to know more about F1 spoon wings and their concept, check out my other video below. There's currently no gurney flap on the wing, but that could change. And also note the DRS mechanism with a rocker arm and no center support. More on DRS design in my other video below. We can also see how Mercedes keeps on using their unique X chassis with the radiators being pushed inside and the fuel bladder sitting above. Again, more details on this below. Impressive is how thin the radiators are in the side pod. Thinner radiators are efficient because their internal heating of the airflow is less. And we can also see a fixed center radiator sitting on the bell housing. At Aston Martin we see the same engine and also they use a large center radiator with multiple connectors. At Alpine we see their DRS pod which is traditionally too small for their rocker design and they use a center support to avoid flap bending when deployed. More on this on the concept behind it in my other video. If we compare the two rear wing versions Alpine brought to the track, we can see that they used at least three sections to design the wing. And for the lower downforce one, they pushed the second up. Interesting here is the thick flap leading edge on the low downforce side and the thin leading edge at the center, which creates this dent. The Alfa Romeo engine bay looks a lot busier with more radiators in the side pods and a large flat center radiator which reminds us of previous Mercedes designs. We can even see more cooling at McLaren with their air to air intercoolers below and other radiators above and a super large high sitting center radiator like pre 2022 F1 cars had it. Haas impresses with their large outwashing surface and huge shrouded mirrors. Also Williams is cooling the area underneath the driver. And Alfa Tauri gave us a good look at their rear brake assembly. So I hope you like this little insight and let me know which one is your favorite team. See you at the next video.